What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, today I want to do uh, my actual review and first impressions of the Pal Pro uh, SG-110 sunglasses cameras I got. I did an unboxing yesterday and posted that to YouTube but today's going to be um, you know kind of the, the real review and, and the uh, first impressions of their usability. Um, so the first thing I want to do is clear up a couple of things that I misstated in the video yesterday. Um, so these things only record in 1080p by uh, with 30 frames per second. There's no settings to change that. There's no options. Um, that's it. I mean, that's what you get. Um, the other thing is it is definitely a micro USB cable. It is not a USB-C type cable that you, that's used to charge these things. Uh, so I did want to clear those two things up. Um, as far as settings go, um, so there are very limited settings, um, and so the first thing I want to point out is uh, you cannot be afraid of technology if you want to use these glasses. Um, there's no interface, there's no application, it doesn't sync with your phone, it doesn't sync with a tablet, it doesn't matter whether it's an Android device, an iOS device, there's no syncing whatsoever. Um, so the way it works is when you first put in the micro SD card, uh, the, the glasses actually write um, two text files to the root of that micro SD card and then they create a typical DCIM folder uh, which you'll see from most digital cameras um, and that's where the actual videos are stored but the two files in the root um, one of them is called module.txt I think I don't know what the hell that file is um, when I opened it there wasn't but one line in there and it didn't really seem to have anything um, so the other file, and I forget the exact file name, I think it's like setupdv.txt or something like that. Um, but that's the file you have to manipulate to actually change settings. Um, and like I said, it said the settings are very minimal. Um, I'm talking the ability to turn on or turn off whether the date and timestamp is shown in the video. That's one of the options. Um, <clears throat> setting... Um, the clip duration. So the way these things work is um, they uh, they record, but you know because of uh, you know writing the file out to the the micro SD card or whatever, you can set the maximum size of those clips. Um, I believe the options are one minute, three minute, five minutes, and ten minutes. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly from looking at the file, I think five minutes is set as the default. Um, the other thing you can change is the hertz frequency for light um, I don't know if that's you're using them indoors or outdoors I think the options were 60 Hertz and and there goes the heater in the garage god damn it um, hopefully you'll still be able to hear me over this although it will make for an interesting test when I uh, use the camera the uh, glasses themselves but I digress um, so the the Hertz frequency settings I think were 60 and 50 I have no idea you know I don't know if that uh, is supposed to be the temperature of the light, maybe. I don't know. Um, I think temperature is always reg uh, registered in, in K versus Hertz, so who knows. Uh, and then I think the rest of the settings were basically the, uh, the month, the day, the year, and then the uh, hours, minutes, and seconds. Um, so the one thing I did notice was uh, the way it works is when you update that text file, there's a, uh, a value that's called update. If you set that to yes, when the next time you turn the camera on, it will actually take the settings from that file and write them to the, uh, to the actual glasses. And when it does that, it actually changes that setting back to no, so the next time the camera comes on, it will not reread that file. Um, as far as the time goes, um, you know, obviously you're setting the time based on when you're first uh, installing the card into the camera. The camera reads that value from that setup file and then it writes it to the camera. Now, the thing that I don't know because I haven't actually used them long enough to know is if the battery in the, in the, ca in the glasses completely dies, does that time go away? Now, I know that I set the time last night and today, this morning, I did a couple of quick test videos and the time was actually still accurate. but this has not lost complete power. So I don't know if the memory is a flash type of memory and so if it dies, it loses everything that's in the memory 
or if it's more of a um, you know a, a RAM based or ROM based type of memory where even if it dies um, it still retains that value I don't see how it could possibly do that I mean if there's no power to the device the clock value is not going to continue to increment but again like I said I'm getting into the technology aspect so if you're not looking for uh, technology stuff again these can these camera this uh, set of sunglasses is probably not for you um, you know so so that's the technology aspect of it the setup of it um, so the the usability of it is pretty straightforward I mean there's basically this button right here and that's it um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in here let's see so um, I don't want to turn them on yet but there is a, a light right here under my thumb that comes on and then there's another light back here that comes on so basically the way this works is when you press this button and it will click you will feel it and you'll hear it click these two lights will come on solid blue uh, they'll stay this front light will stay solid blue for maybe two or three seconds and then it will start flashing when it's flashing slowly it is actually recording so this is a one touch button you hit it it turns the camera on it does its really quick boot up sequence and then it immediately starts recording um, so if this is flashing if the front light is flashing a, a little a um, slow blink it means the camera's recording if it's solid blue it means the camera's in standby mode and if it flashes fast it means there's a problem with the camera either um, cards not inserted correctly or, or whatever the case may be um, this light back here actually changes from blue to red um, so when you're charging it it will actually be a bit of a red color and then when it's completely charged if the micro SB cable is plugged in and it's completely charged this backlight turns solid blue um, so that's kind of the indicator lights um, so while it's recording when you first hit the button and it turns on and it starts recording if you hit the button again this front light will turn solid blue which means the the camera is now in standby mode um, it you know stays powered on if you hit the button again it will start recording again so that's basically turn it on or turn the recording on turn the recording off um, I don't know how long it stays in standby before it will automatically shut off the conserved battery now if you want to force it to turn off if you hold this button in for two to three seconds it will eventually turn off um, the one thing to note is there is no uh, sound indicators so um, other than the clicking of this button and the physical tactile feel there's no um, you know sound to indicate that you're recording or not all it is is that light blinking that tells you that so if you're going to use these glasses the first thing I would recommend is you turn them on you wait for that light to you know go from solid blue to slow blinking and then actually put them on your face um, you know if you if you don't do that you're not going to be guaranteed that the camera is actually recording even if you feel this click um, or whatever while it's on your face you still won't know um, now if you're walking around and you want to pause the recording you know you should be fairly uh, you know it should be fairly reliable that if you click it it goes into standby mode and then if you click it again it'll start recording again the only time that potentially becomes a problem is if um, in fact as you're uh, if, if you stop recording in standby mode if it stays in standby for too long um, you might end up having a problem where it is turned off when you go to you know re-record um, so as long as if that happens what will end up happening is the camera will come back on but the recording will be uh, delayed by three to five seconds as the camera boots up so uh, just something to take into consideration um, the other thing to take into consideration is you can see that the camera is you know directly on the bridge of the nose um, so you know most people you know when you're looking at something you know obviously the camera is going to be facing in that general direction um, but you know a lot of people especially when you're driving or even just everyday stuff um, you know your position of your head and particularly the bridge of your nose may not necessarily be where you're actually looking um, so one thing to remember is that while these glasses are marketed as uh, point of view or first person perspective or however you want to refer to it that's not actually necessarily going to be true um, you know if I'm looking straight forward uh, you know as I'm driving 
and then I glance down at the dash, most likely I have not changed the position of my head, I have just changed the position of my eyes. Um, and because that camera is basically looking across the bridge of your nose, you're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see that on the camera. So if you're using these things, um, you know, for activities or, or anything like that, it's just you know, good to be mindful that you have to actually change the position of your head, not just where your eyes are looking, if you want it to be on camera. Um, you know, I, I think over time, if you use these things frequently, it'll kind of become um, second nature to kind of, you know, move your head uh, in that particular in uh, that particular direction. So, you know, if you want to look down instead of just glancing down with your eyes, you need to actually move the position of your head down to see, um, you know, what's going on. So at this point, you know, I've kind of talked about the functionality of the glasses and, and pretty much how they work. I mean, it, it's not a whole lot to them. It's not, you know, they're not. It's not rocket science, but. Like I said, you have to be willing to, you know, do some technology stuff in order to especially do the configuration stuff. Um, the other thing to note is I have no idea why, but for some reason the video files are saved in MOV format. So I guess the old QuickTime movie format. Um, I have no idea why. They are 1080, um, you know, they are 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. I did check the properties of the file and they do say that. Um, why they chose uh, an MOV file format versus an MP4 file format, I have no idea. Um, maybe it's got something to do with MP4s could theoretically ha lose, uh, you know, clarity from an audio or a video perspective because it is technically a compression-based format. Um, but, uh, you know, MOV, I don't know if MOV is compressionless or not. Uh, but there's just one thing to take into consideration, you know, if you don't have a lot of skill with converting um, file formats, or if your image editing software doesn't support uh, MOV files, um, it's just something to take into consideration that you know there is an extra step uh, in using these movies uh, from the perspective of, of putting them into other v uh, video formats. So you know MP4s or AVIs or whatever you know video file format you use. Um, so now I'm going to kind of go into uh, actually footage from the the cameras, uh, the camera itself. So got to do a couple of things to get that set up so I'll be back in a minute okay everyone so um, right now this video is actually coming from the glasses I have the glasses on right now um, I actually put my contacts in today so that uh, I could actually see while I was using these glasses um, so what I want to do now is I want to kind of do a comparison between the video from the camera or the from the glasses versus my other uh, primary camera I use for doing my videos um, so I'm gonna hold this out and, and kinda get it in close so you can see so this is a Canon uh, PowerShot SX730 um, and it's got a 40x optical zoom so this camera actually has a, a high uh, you know length view, uh, zoom lens on it so this is what I use to do most of my videos every other video on my site uh, with the exception of the drone footage um, and some of my earlier videos is with this camera um, except for obviously the, the video you're watching right now. Um, so the sound and everything right now is coming from the glasses. Um, you know, I, I, the one thing I haven't figured out yet is where the actual microphones on the glasses are that pick up sound. Um, I'm hoping I'm pretty clear from the perspective of the fact that I'm actually wearing the glasses. Uh, you would certainly hope it picks up that person very, uh, you know, pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually walk around the garage and I'm going to actually uh, do a comparison of the video from the camera, I'm sorry, the video from the glasses and a video from this. Um, so obviously I can't put this in the same position as the glasses, um, you know, I would look pretty funny with these things sitting on the bridge of my nose um, and that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted the glasses because, you know, you see people walking around with GoPro strapped to their heads or they're wearing the chest harness and they're walking around with their cameras on and I don't know I'm a fairly introverted type of person and that's actually why um, you know I've not I've, I've purposely tried to not actually be in my videos um, but I feel like you know if I was walking around at a car meet or whatever you know with a camera on my head or a camera on my chest or even just walking around with this camera on a you know a short little you know tripod or bipod or monopole or whatever the hell you want to call it you know, I just feel, you know, I haven't gotten past that, uh, you know, introvertedness from the perspective of doing videos and stuff. So, uh, so that's a bit, a little bit of a digression. Sorry about that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hold this camera more at chest height 
um, as I walk around the garage, and I'm going to be recording simultaneously between the the um, the uh, the camera, uh, you know, the the glasses, Jesus, the uh, glasses and the uh, camera itself. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to actually open the garage door so that you can see the transition of how well the the uh, glasses adjust to different lighting situations. I do know from watching other reviews online um, that one of the things that's you know kind of a drawback to these types of uh, cameras, you know, the glasses, is you know obviously the camera assembly itself is is tiny. Um, so with that, you have basically a fixed aperture, you have a fixed lens assembly, so it's not like the camera can adjust focal length, it can't adjust how much light is coming in or, or not. Um, so the one thing that you know a lot of the videos have said is that um, you know when you're facing into direct sunlight, um, what will happen is you're going to lose a lot of detail because the camera is going to basically uh, you know change from the perspective of being able to see things to everything being kind of um, shadowed out. I just heard a noise in the garage. I don't know what the hell it was. It's really windy here right now. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I'm going to do, and then after I do that, I'm going to take the car out for a little bit and drive just so you can get a pers uh, perceptive, or Jesus, a um, idea of, you know, that kind of perspective. Man, it's been one hell of a day. It's only noon. Um, the video editing software I use, because um, I'm still, you know, you know, honing my skills on that kind of stuff, um, the software I use, I cannot do um, picture in picture, so I can't do... Uh, footage from the glasses at the same time as footage from this camera so when I edit this all together what will happen is you'll see the segment from the glasses and I'll notate that in the video and then you'll see the segment from the camera and you'll um, uh, you'll see that in the segment as well I want to try to give as much detail as possible uh, related to the functionality of these glasses I mean at the end of the day you're spending money on something so Oh, and one other thing is I'm not a professional photographer or videographer in any stretch of the imagination, so take this for what it's worth. Uh, strictly kind of uh, a hobbyist uh, type of uh, perspective. Okay, so here we go. So um, as I'm talking, I'm going to, uh, as the videos switch back and forth when I do the final editing, I will indicate... Um, you know which audio uh, you're hearing as well so that you can differentiate between uh, the glasses audio as well as the um, uh, audio from the actual Canon camera okay so here we go so um, as I'm talking I'm going to uh, as the video switch back and forth when I do the final editing I will indicate um, you know which audio uh, you're hearing as well so that you can differentiate between uh, the glasses audio as well as the um, uh, audio from the actual Canon camera um, at this point I'm going to go ahead and open up the the uh, garage door over here so you can see how the two cameras change from a lighting perspective um, so I'll go ahead and walk outside now okay at this point, I'm going to go ahead and open up the the uh, garage door over here so you can see how the two cameras change from a lighting perspective. Um, so, I'll go ahead and walk outside now. Okay. So, I'm going to walk around the, the corner of the garage here just so you can see kind of, it's pretty overcast today right now. Um, as you can see, you know, there's the sun. Um, but yeah, so here's, you know, the outdoor footage um, from both the camera and the, uh, the glasses themselves. Um, so I'm going to walk around the, the corner of the garage here just so you can see kind of, it's pretty overcast today right now. Um, as you can see, you know, there's the sun. Um, but yeah, so here's, you know, the outdoor footage um, from both the camera and the uh, the glasses themselves um, so the one thing I did want to do is kind of show you how dark the actual lenses are because um, they are uh, uh, if anything they're they're definitely a nice pair of sunglasses um, you know taking the camera out of the equation they're definitely a nice pair of sunglasses so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the uh, sunglasses off and I'm gonna try to hold them in front of 
uh, the Canon camera to see if I can show you what they look like from uh, the lens perspective. Alright, so that is that is the sun without the cam without the sunglasses. And then there is looking through the sunglass lens. So you can see they're definitely definitely a dark lens from the perspective of you know working nice as a sunglass. <laughs> so at this point I think what I'm gonna do is one, I'm gonna check to make sure the the glasses are actually still recording. And then if they are, I'm going to go ahead and take the car out and do a little bit of driving for that, for the, uh, that perspective. So at this point, I think what I'm going to do is, one, I'm going to check to make sure the, the glasses are actually still recording. And then if they are, I'm going to go ahead and take the car out and do a little bit of driving for that. For the, uh, that perspective. So here we go doing a cold start with the sunglasses on. From inside the car I should say. Okay, while we're driving, I did want to go ahead and kind of give you my my final thoughts on the glasses. Um, I don't know how long the battery is going to last. I know it's supposed to last for between an hour and an hour and a half. Um, but you know, I have no idea. I haven't actually fully tested that out, so I don't know how long how long it will actually last. So that's why I want to talk while we're you know kind of driving. Um, but you know, the interesting thing about the interesting thing about these glasses are um, you know, do I think they're a good investment? I mean, I think it really depends on what your use case is. My specific use case, well, let's back up a second. So, you know, like we talked about already, first person perspective, you know, kind of, you know, point of view type of uh, camera footage is great. But, you know, like I said, they're, you know, they're basically aimed where the bridge of your nose is. And if you're not changing your perspective by turning your head or looking up or down by moving your head, um, you're not really getting a true vision of what the person is actually looking at. Um, the other thing is, is you know, and, and Mike kind of alluded to this um, during his video from his glasses that he had just recently started using, is, you know, when you're driving, um, you know, the act of driving is kind of, you know, your head's moving around, you're looking at your mirrors, you're checking your rear view mirror, you're looking in your, your blind spot, all that stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't know that from that perspective, that kind of uh, footage is going to be really usable. Um, I think, you know, from somebody watching it, you know, it's going to be kind of jerky motion and you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so, I mean, I think it really depends on what your use case is as to whether these things are going to be effective or not. Or effective or not. Um, my specific use case is that I plan on using them at car meets so when I go to the cars and coffee events and that kind of stuff I can walk around I can video cars and stuff and even conversations with people and not feel you know like we I've already mentioned you know since I'm an introvert not feel like an idiot walking around with a camera strapped on my head or um, you know uh, to my chest or walking around with a camera on a you know a selfie stick or whatever um, so for me, I think that they're going to be beneficial for that. Um, I think, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I, I posted about how I'm getting drag radios and all that stuff. So I will be going to the track and doing some quarter mile runs. I think that, you know, from that perspective, they'll be good because you're going to be a fixed focus looking, you know, straight ahead. So, um, you know, you'll see that. Um, another thing I didn't even think about is I'm wearing an actual hat right now. Um, so I don't know if you can actually see the bill of the hat. Um, actually in the, the uh, video right now so um, you know that'll be another thing to take into consideration is um, I don't know if that was that BMW that was sounding like that or what um, so anyway sorry I got uh, sidetracked so again you know if you if you wear hats a lot I don't know if that's going to take off take away from the field of view um, you know of the camera whatever the case may be so you know for my use case I think you know using it at car meets using it for drag strip runs um, also doing using it 
for things like install videos um, you know I do want to start doing some videos about how I clean the car and how I do that kind of stuff and you know having to hold a camera or set up a camera on a tripod um, you know it makes it very difficult to you know set up the right angle so that you, I'm not actually in the video um, you know so these I think will be perfect for that because you know again you know hopefully I'm not in the video that much right now maybe you're you'll see in my hands or whatever the case may be um, but from that perspective you know I think it'll be good for that um, so again like I said you know whether these are right for you or not really is going to come down to you and and what you want to do with them now the other question is, is you know price um, so I don't know what the hell's going on with Amazon or with this particular product or, or what the case may be but when you go to the Amazon site sometimes these things on the product on their product page the the actual product page for these glasses show them as being sixty dollars and ninety nine cents other times like last night when I posted the actual unboxing video I checked the product page and they were showing us ten dollars and ninety nine cents again so I have no idea why they keep changing between sixty dollars and ten dollars basically um, but before I, I went out and started doing this particular video I did in fact check my credit card company uh, I went to the account and I saw the Amazon transaction actually is showing up now and that transaction showed up as being the nineteen dollars like you saw on the order page in, in the unboxing video so that means they charged me just ten dollars for these glasses um, so I mean I think if you can if you can get these glasses when they're ten ninety nine, I mean to me that's a no brainer. I mean you're getting a pair of glasses uh, and it's even a night they're even just nice sunglasses. They fit good on at least my head. Um, they're not that they don't feel that heavy. The the lenses themselves you know protect all the way around to the side of your eyes. They're kind of a little bit like a sport glass kind of thing. Um, they got good, uh, I think they're, pol I'm pretty sure they're polarized lenses. You could see hopefully in the other video, um, you know, in the earlier part of this video, the, uh, how dark the lenses are. So, I mean, even, even if you get them just as sunglasses, I mean, I think 1099, uh, you know, from that perspective is, you know, kind of a no brainer. Um, now the $60, then to me, it becomes a little more subjective. Um, I think there's other glasses you can find that have cameras in them. Um, if you do research, there's other glasses that are in the same price range that may be better for whatever it is you're trying to do, the look of the glasses, whatever the case may be. Um, I did actually find another set of um, glasses like these, um, had the camera in them, same 10, 1080p, um, you know, all that stuff, <clears throat> but they were 80 some dollars. Um, so, you know, again, that's way more than six, even these things at the right price of $60. But that other set of glasses, they actually came with two sets of, inter or actually three sets of lenses. So they came with sunglasses lenses, they came with clear lenses, and then they actually came with a, a yellow uh, lens that actually helped with nighttime driving. I don't know if anybody's ever used um, yellow shooting glasses at night. Uh, there's something about the yellow wavelength or the yellow tinting to the glasses helps, uh, you know, reduce glare and, and some other stuff. Um, so, I mean, you know, I think that, you know, from that perspective, those glasses, you know, at $80 um, might actually not be that bad because not only do they you know, come with three lenses, so the sunglasses, the clear, and the yellow, they also come with the, the wall plug for the USB charging. They come with the hard case as well as a soft case that actually acts as a cleaning cloth. They actually come with a cleaning cloth. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, you're getting a lot more with those particular glasses than you are with these. Um, the other thing, and, you know, I, I, you know, this is, you know, being, you know, what they are, um, you know, from the perspective of, uh, you know, they're made in China. So, you know, I, I have no idea who the distributor is and all that other stuff. Um, but I believe that the specs on the actual sensor in, the, in this camera for these glasses is only a 5 megapixel sensor. Um, that other set of glasses I was just talking about that's $80 um, is basically, I think it, re it listed as a 16 megapixel camera. Um, I don't know, maybe the product page for these glasses are wrong. Maybe it's really supposed to be 15. I don't know. Um, the other nice thing about that uh, other set of glasses, I think they can actually take still pictures. Um, so instead of just video, 
you can actually uh, take pictures straight from the uh, glasses themselves. Um, so I think that's an interesting aspect to them as well. Um, so I mean, I think again, it comes down to you know if you're getting these glasses for for that sixty dollars, um, you know I think there are probably other options. Um, and if you're willing to spend a little bit more, like I said, that eighty dollars, uh, you can actually get a set of uh, glasses that has um, a lot better. Uh, options as far as I'm concerned from the perspective of multiple lenses and you know some of that other stuff um, But again, if you get these things for for the ten dollars uh, to me, it just seems like a no-brainer um, So, you know at the end of the day I'm happy with the transact or with the purchase. I'm happy with the glasses so far um, But I did pay just the 1099 so All right, everyone back home um Hopefully you found that uh, video to uh, you know this the the video the sample of the video while I was driving to give you a, a good indication of um, you know how the video looks uh, especially out driving uh, being outside uh, different lighting conditions that kind of stuff um, one last thing I did want to mention uh, before uh, ending the video is for anybody that um, wears glasses uh, on a regular basis. Um, the one thing I have found that um, is kind of a problem is that, uh, you know, because the camera is literally right on the bridge of the nose, um, anybody that wears glasses, when you go to push them up onto the bridge of the nose or up onto your face, if they slide down a little bit, you tend to do it right at the bridge of the nose, um, which means you end up hitting the camera. Um, I don't know, in looking at these things, the camera lens looks like it's set back in there a little bit. Um, so I don't know that you'll actually touch it, but just something to be mindful. Um, you know, when you adjust these things, it's probably better to grab them from the uh, the arms and, and push them back that way than to just go and hit the uh, the bridge of the nose. Um, so with that, um, you know, thanks for watching, and hopefully you found this uh, video to be uh, informative. And if so, please give it a like up. <laughs> please give it a thumbs up or a like. And again, thanks for watching.